Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and this is Expedition 3 Pages. Today we're going to start playing Tales from Two Trails, The Battle. If you don't know what Tales from Two Trails is, it is my TBR game that I play every single month with you guys. This round of TBR Trails is going to be different because it's me versus my mum. And we have split you guys who want to join in into two different teams and you will be teaming up with myself or my mum in order to race down the track and try and win. I have already filmed this video with my mum, which I will cut to in a sec, but because we were a bit ill-prepared, <laughs> I didn't say everything that I needed to on that actual day. So I'm here just to tell you just some quick rules. I have actually already filmed a video that goes over the rules in a lot more detail and takes you through all the prompts and everything like that. So if you wanted to watch that, I will link it down in the description. But essentially the two teams will be racing down the trail to get to the bottom and the first team to get to the bottom wins and we will go over in this video what the consequence of that is going to be. Every single month is going to run from the 26th of the month that I put the video out in to the 25th of the following month. The reason that I do this is because I know a lot of you like to plan your reads before an actual month starts so the game is kind of shifted. So for this first month you can count any books that you read from the 26th of January to the 25th of February. Anything that you read within that time is absolutely gonna count. In my game, you don't have to read full books to count. It's literally just books that you finish. So even if you're like 10 pages to the end, you can still count that book if you read it between the 26th to the 25th. There's no doubling up though. So there will be three prompts that everybody has a chance to fulfill every month, but you can't use the same book for multiple prompts. In this video, I kind of talk like you can ignore that you can't <laughs> it was very difficult filming with mum for the first time because yeah i think it was very confusing <laughs> so yeah i've had loads of people sign up which is so much fun so i thought before you watch this video i will share with you who is on what team um just so you know if you haven't already signed up and you would like to then just comment down below in this video or any of our future videos and i can add you to a team i will tell you which team i'm going to add you to just to try and keep things equal you don't have to play every single month if you sign up just whenever you want to but it does help the team if you play as much as you can basically so in this video we're going to find out who the leader of team eight is so i won't tell you who the leader is yet but the following people are in team a amanda r Lynn from Bookworm Lynn, Stacy, Martine from Just Martine, Leanna, Casey from Casey Undercovers, Heather, Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction, Michelle, Marissa, Jenny from Jenny K Reads, Plush Lola, Carly, Chelsea, June, Sandy, Amy from A Star Reads, Brittany from Brittany's Books and Random Things, and finally Bailey from Is Bailey Reading. So you guys are all team A. So the people on team B so far are the following. We have Christine from An Autistic Reader, Marlene, Jessica, Mars from Somber Honey Books, Manny from Reading with Manny, Morgan from Rebellious Reviewer, Jessica from This Kiwi Cats and Books, Whitney from Tibera's Den, Natalie from Nat Cat's Bookish Cafe, Michelle from Reading on My Breaks, Linnea, Amanda from Amanda Plays the Sims or The Reading and Writing Life, Crystalline, Nadia, Ruby from Ruby Red, Abby from Abby Lynn Loves Books, and Emily from Emily Beth Hall. So you guys are all on Team B, which is very exciting. Oh, and actually we do have one more member for Team B who is JL. So yeah, I just seen that one. So JL is on Team B. So as it stands, including team leaders, there are 20 people on each team, which is mad. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining in. I can't wait to see how this game is gonna go. Please bear with us in this video. We will get more used to filming together or like filming on Zoom or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's a little bit chaotic in this video. Hopefully it will become smoother over time. Now I'm gonna hand over to pass to me and my mum. Hello, welcome to the first game of the new round of Tales from Two Trails, which is the battle. Shall we just crack on? I think we should. Okay, all right. Do you um, want to introduce yourself first? Oh yeah, hi, um, I'm Julie, I'm Kimberly's mum, and uh, she's invited me to take part in this game. So she's taught me all of the rules, which I really remember. No, I do remember, I'll be fine. And um, I'm looking forward to playing. I've already started adding people into either Team A or Team B, and at the moment we don't know who is the leader of team A and who is the leader of team B. So we're going to flip a coin to decide that. And yeah, actually we should probably just do that now so then we can find out. So yeah, I'm very excited to find out whose team I'm on. So right, do you want to flip the coin first? Shall I flip the coin? Right, 
Well, no, you only first. flip the coin once, I didn't don't mean you? That. I didn't so mean if that. it's heads, is it team A and tails is team B? Yeah, if it's heads, team A. Right, because I'm flipping it. You're flipping it. So you're calling. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I say... What do you think it's going to be? So if I say heads, does that mean I'm team A? Yeah, if you say heads, then you're team A. Okay, so I'm going to go heads. Tails. It's tails. I'm team B. Come on, team A. No, losers. Sorry. <laughs> I was supposed to film that up close, so you're just going to have to trust, trust that it was, it was tails. So do you want to talk about your playing piece? Okay, so um, as you know, Kim usually uses little rolled up bits of cardboard as the little people. I'm very fond of my rolled up bits of cardboard. People that go around the board. But I suggested that maybe we, we change the playing pieces out for something a little bit more personal. So I'm going to unveil my little playing piece. And he's asleep at the moment, so we need to be careful. Take that out. Oh, look, who's this? the upside down. Look. It's a pirate. So here we are. This is Pierre the pirate and he's the leader of Team 8. Well, he's not the leader. I'm the leader. But he is representing us as he chases his way around the board. And I have this elephant, which on camera, it doesn't really look like an elephant. There we go. That's more elephant-like. I don't have him, a name for him yet. So if anyone wants to name him, feel free. He's a bit big, but... I think he's going to be good to take down the trail with us. I think he'll be useful. So usually we will have one team playing with a D6 and the winning team from the previous month will be playing with a D8, which is an eight-sided dice. But uh, we haven't played anything yet. So for this round, the very first round, we're all going to be rolling with a D6 and there's going to be no advantage. If you and your team earn the most points in this next coming month, then next month you will be able to use a d8. Just very quickly I'll just say the aim of the game is to get from the top of the trail all the way to the bottom of the trail and basically the first team that gets there wins and there is going to be a consequence for that for me and my mum. So if my team wins then I get to choose a book for my mum to read and then to vlog for you guys. <laughs> I already know the book that I want to pick for this so I'm yeah, I'm kind of excited about that, but I am open to suggestions as well. So anyone on my team, if you want to suggest a book that you want my mum to read and vlog, feel free. And yeah, maybe I'll give up my power a bit to you guys and choose one of the suggestions for that. But I, I do have a book in mind. I don't have a book in mind. Are you going to ask your teammates to give you suggestions or are you going to pick on your own? Oh, yeah, if you've got any suggestions, because I'm not very good at um, thinking of things on the spot. So if you've got any suggestions, please do put them in the comments down below. That's where the comments are, isn't it? This way. Yeah, they're not up there, way. are they? Yeah, they're down no. there. Any suggestions of a book um, that when we've won, team A, uh, that uh, Kimberly will have to read? Yes. Be kind. <laughs> I guess that's not the point, is it? Be mean, point. I guess. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So let's find out what the first prompts are going to be for this month. Okay, right. So our little guys are on the top of the trail, ready to go. And I guess Team A should go first, which is kind of annoying. Woohoo! <laughs> team A team first. A first. So we're going to roll into this little bowl here. Come on, Team A. First roll for Team A. Be a nice one. Good uh, luck, good luck, Team A members. Four. It's a four. Go on then. Come on, Pierre. Ooh, we got a Am I going the right way? One, <laughs> two, three, four. And there's... Oh, oh. oh, no, Pierre. And it is global. Hi, guys. It is now about five hours later after we played the game. It's not. It's about an hour later. Right, so first of all, we had Team A. <laughs> team A's prompt. You guys, his first prompt was global mm -hmm. so i'm gonna cut now to mom playing global so you can find out which country it is i'm playing global now i've never played this before and i'm being walked through it so i've got a tap on the globe to play and nothing's happened <laughs> i've got into a country name yep to make a guess oh dear enter i put iran Right, that's not red at all, so you're nowhere near. Oh, oh, I see. So I've got to keep... It's like the hot and cold game, basically. Oh, okay. Mexico. That's even colder. Even colder. <laughs> um, Sweden. Sweden is warmer. 
Denmark is warmer. I don't know any names in any countries. That's the trouble. Uh, Denmark is warmer. How warm is it? Let me see. Can it's grey. It's 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 orange. Is that right? All right. Do Spain. Spain. Well, Spain is warmer. Spain's a warm country. <laughs> Nigeria. It's red. Closest. It's still far though, so it might be one of these countries. Which are called what? <laughs> I was going to put Papua New Guinea, but I don't know where that is. Can I just put? No, that's wrong. <laughs> so... <laughs> Senegal. Yes, yeah, Senegal Very... is warmer. Uh, Two hundred and sixty kilometers away now. Gab Gabon. Map out. Oh no, that's the wrong way. No, that's the wrong way. All right, we need to cheat. Guinea is adjacent to the answer. When I said Papua New Guinea, that's I meant Guinea. Is Sierra Leone a country? Yeah. Let's try that. I just spell that. Sierra. Leone. See, this is why global's good because it means you learn about where countries are. Yeah. The mystery country is Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Is Yay! Yeah. Sierra Amazing. Leone is the answer. Okay, so time for Team B's roll number one. Five, yes, already in the lead. One, two, three, whoop, four, <gasps> five. <laughs> Outrageous. And this is to... <laughs> Do you mind? So this is to randomise your music in any kind of way. And whatever song comes up, that's the song that you use as a prompt. Okay, so Team B's first prompt was music and so therefore every single person gets to go through their own music selection and randomize their music in some way and pick a song so i'm not going to do that here i will talk about it next month and tell you which song it was and if i decided to do that prompt or not hopefully i will because i need to build up those points but yeah so i'll share that with you next month here we go team a with roll number two let's put that back in the middle i'm gonna blow on it for luck don't blow on my die. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's no. one. Oh, hang on, Pierre. You can't sit on the back of the elephant. <laughs> so, cause he's, he needs to just move him out the way. And there you go. That's also that's also the musical prompt. The musical prompt. Team A's second prompt was the same. So same goes. It was also music. So yeah, Mum will share. She has done it already. So <laughs> we'll share it next month. Time for roll number two for Team B. Four, yes. We've got one, two, three, four. And this is seasonal pick. Then Team B's second prompt was seasonal read. And so that means if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, then it's winter and southern heavens hemisphere it's summer yeah so just wherever you live whatever season it is just pick up a book that is seasonal to you and here we go with roll three for team a is this our final roll we yeah, do that's three the final roll. We do, oh here we go come on team a we haven't got any new prompts yet come on team a two. it's a two. Oh, is that a, is that can i is that a tbr that's a randomise your TBR. Randomise your TBR. So Pierre's sitting on a I'll move, move this out the way, elephant. Way. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that there. It's a teacup with lots of bits and pieces in it, which look like sugar lumps. So Team A's third pick was to randomise your TBR. You can do that any way you like. You could do randomise your whole TBR. You could do put some on a spinner wheel, spin one, put some in a TBR jar, take one out. So Mum will do that in a minute and I'll show it in next month's video what mum got. So time for the final roll for team B. I really hope that this prompt is a new one because none of them so far have been new. Two. And it is. One, two. So this one is Wordle. So we're going to play Wordle and whatever the word is, that's going to be our prompt. Team B's final prompt was Wordle of the day. So I will cut now to me playing the game. We find out what word we've got. Right then, now it's my turn to play Wordle. <laughs> so let's go. So five letter word to start. It really gives you nothing. I thought it gave you at least one letter. Let's go front. Oh, how do you enter? Oh, this way. 
It's got a T. It's got a T. But in the wrong place. In the wrong place. Okay, so one uh, five letter word that starts with T. Table. Ta- table. It hasn't got any of those letters in it. Okay. Enter. All right, T's in the right place. E and A. If it's teams, that would be amazing. No. <laughs> Let's just pick another word that's got five letters that has different letters, so then narrows it down. So I'm just putting chair in because I want to know if I's there. No. That was a silly thing to do. I feel like there's not a lot that can go after T. Can What's TW words? Are there TW words other than tweak? I'm putting tweak. Oh, tweak. Yeah, T-W-E-A-K. It's not tweak. Oh, that's not a word. <laughs> Tweak is a word. Wait, T-W-E-A-A-K. T-W-E-A-K. It's Tweak! Yay! Okay, and so we got Tweak. I mean, what? So I did have to look it up a million times because I was finding it really difficult to find any book with Tweak. Obviously, Tweak can mean, like, pulling someone's ear, or it can mean... (laughs) Or it can mean like tweaking a system, making it better, trying to improve it in some way. It also has something to do with drugs and taking crystal meth or amphetamine or stuff like that and being agitated or being on a high. I think if you find a book that fits any of those things then it will work. Hello, it's me from the future again. I have just come to do a recap of the prompts because after editing the video I'm not sure it's clear what the prompts are exactly. Um, So first up, we have Team A's prompts for the month. Your first prompt was global, and that turned out to be Sierra Leone. And so that prompt means that you need to read a book either by an author from Sierra Leone or a book that is set in Sierra Leone. That's that prompt. Then you had music, which is to randomise your music however you listen to it, whether it's on Spotify, even just YouTube if you've got a playlist or, I don't know, CDs still, just like randomize your CDs and whatever album or song comes up, that is your prompt. So you have to use that song title or album title in some way to turn it into a prompt and choose a book that way. And your third prompt, which I think I already did explain, is randomize your TBR. So yeah, those are your three prompts. You can't double up on any of those prompts. Then we're moving on to team B, which now you know is my team. Come on team B. I don't think I was very enthusiastic about teams in this video, but I am, trust me. I need my team to win. I want mum to have to vlog a book. So for us team B, our prompts are number one, music again works exactly the same way as the prompt for team A works. Our second prompt is seasonal read. So as I explained, wherever you are in the world, pick a book that fits that season. And our third prompt was Wordle of the Day, which turned out to be Tweak. And I think I did go through the definitions of Tweak. So any book that kind of you can squeeze into fitting in with the word Tweak will work for that one. There are two more ways that we can try and earn extra prompts for our team. The first way is like a group book. And basically myself and my mum tried to find a book that worked with our prompts. Ideally they would work with all three prompts but evidently that can't be done especially for team A. There's no way of matching up those three prompts because two of them are completely individualized. So mum has chosen a book that fits for the first prompt, the global prompt. And if you do end up reading that book you absolutely don't have to but you will gain five points for that read instead of three points. And the same goes for the book that I have chosen as well. If you end up reading the book that I've chosen it's five points instead of three points. Yeah it was very difficult this month. We spent a long time trying to decide and I'm not sure how easy the choices were at the end. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, but we tried our best. It was the first month. The second way we can earn more points throughout the month is by carrying out an activity. And later on in this video, my mum and myself will tell you what those activities are. So they are different for team A and team B. And so yeah, keep watching and you'll find out what the activities are. But if you complete the activity, you gain two more points. So right, I'm going to pass on to past me and my mum again. And hopefully now you understand what we're saying. Because when I edited this video, there was no understanding what was going on. Right, okay. So the first prompt that we got was for global. And uh, am I allowed to say? Well, it is now. You've told them already. Yeah. So the country was Sierra Leone. I did a little search to find out popular authors um, from that country. And it's a book called Radiance of Tomorrow by Ishmael. It says on here Beach, and that is not his name. This is <laughs> he's typed it in as Beach. His name's B. So it's Ishmael B, B-E-A-H, it should say. 
um, and it's called Radiance of Tomorrow, which just so happens to be a very, you know, a good book, apparently. It's got lots of, of stars on Goodreads and and other reading apps are available. And um, it's uh, available on, you know, Audible and various places like that. So it seems to be like it's one that could be fairly easily accessible. So again, it's called Radiance of Tomorrow by Ishmael B. You don't have to read it, but if you do read it, you will gain five points instead of three for that prompt. Okay, sorry if the camera just moved, but my battery ran out and then, yeah, it was a fight to get everything back on. Okay, so what I was saying was, for our team, we also had the music prompt and that's individual to everyone, so I can't base a book off of that. So what was left was seasonal read, but that's difficult because it's winter for, I'd say probably most people, but then also summer for others. And then we had tweak as well, and that was a really hard word to try and fulfill. So what I've ended up with, I basically panicked after an hour of trying to search for something good, I've panicked and I've chosen Hard Times by Charles Dickens because January is generally hard times. I don't know if January in the summer is hard times for people in other parts of the world, but around here, people don't like January. So I picked Hard Times by Charles Dickens and I also think that maybe I reckon there's something in this book that we can use for tweak, we just don't know what it is yet. Clutching at straws there. <laughs> we'll find it in like there somewhere. There'll be some adult that maybe like tweak someone's nose, yeah, tweaks a child's nose, or a system will try will be tweaked in some way. I don't know. I'm sure there's something about tweaking in this book. And so this is what I'm putting up for group read. So if you wanted to, you could read Hard Times by Charles Dickens and I will also try and read it this month as well. Yeah, so that's Can I that. just ask a question on behalf of Team A? Yes. How many points do members of Team A get if they decide to read Hard Times? Oh, uh, you just get two points. Ah, <gasps> we should get not more. Your, it's not your group book, so no. No, you don't even get two points. What? No, you, you do get two points, but then because you've stolen some of our prompts, you leave a point behind. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. so no, you don't get extra Sorry, points guys. if you read this book. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Points there. <laughs> um, I think that's it, apart from the activities. So the last prompts that we landed on, they are going to have activities associated with them. So if you do them, then you can earn two extra points for the team. The last prompt that you guys landed on was to randomise your TBR. Oh yeah. And the activity for that is... All right, so you're randomising your TBR, but you've got to choose it in a really unusual place. So whether you write the names of the books down on a piece of paper and you climb a tree and decide to pick it up there, don't fall out, then that's is my Is that place. how you're picking your one in a minute? I did mine in a very under very difficult circumstances, sitting in Kim's flat. Yeah, so... If you take a picture of yourselves, picking your TBR in a really unusual way, you know, or in a really unusual place that you wouldn't mm -hmm. normally do it. So that's your activity, teammate. Teammate. Champions. Okay, and if you wanted to send me that picture, then you can do my email will be down in the description. If you're on Instagram, then feel free to send it over on Instagram as well. And then next month, I will share, I will share it with everyone. Um, okay, so, and... Team B's activity for the month, what did we land on? Tweak. <laughs> it's not going to be tweak. So the activity for you guys this month is to one day in... What are you trying to say? I was just going to say you could slightly tweak the word tweak to twerk. And so no. they could be... No. That is not the activity. Mm. The activity for you guys is to one day during this next month of gameplay, play Wordle and then whatever that word is, recommend a book to us in some, in some way. So you can either do it in the comments section of this video, put it on Instagram, socials, however you want to do it. But yeah, that's going to be your activity. Play word, word of the day, one day this month, whatever that word is, find a book and recommend it to us. Not and that's your activity. Not twerking. Not twerking. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and I think that's it. I feel like we've been filming for a really long time. It does feel like so that. The sun has been up and gone down gone since down. we started filming. But yeah, so good luck everyone. And next month we will see who is rolling with the D8 and who is getting down the trail quickest. Okay guys, that is everything. We didn't really say goodbye in the video, so I'm jumping on here to say thank you so much for watching. Good luck. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye. Why are you laughing? <laughs>
Because you're not used to it. Let me hold your camera. Oh no, my elephant doesn't have a Nelly. Nelly. No, this is not Nelly. How dare you? What are you doing? I'm just introducing Pierre to the to the environment. Team A's third prompt. Team A's third prompt. <laughs> I just I just prompt the prompter. Well, I wasn't going to share anything apart from the group book. And then next month I was going to share it. So maybe we do this. What's the group book? I haven't got a group book. What's my group book? Are you joking? No, what's my group book? 